Hey everybody, welcome back to more Dark Souls 2 Blind. Uh, quite a few parts in now, aren't we? It's kind of, well, it was surprising and it wasn't surprising. At the same time, I feel like, I feel like we're reasonably far into the game. So, I'm not like, stunned at how, you know, we're 60 parts in or whatever and we haven't even beaten the Taurus Demon yet or anything. It's... Just a surprise because I both expected the game to be shorter and longer than it currently is. Because I feel like we're approaching not not end game, but I mean we finished a reasonably big job like uh, that we were set at the beginning of the game. It's basically you know kill the four big things in this area, and we did. And it was a long journey. This character has... Uh, I don't know how many hours. It'll probably say about 60, 70. But I can assure you that about 30 or 40 have actually been me playing. Um, mostly because I tend to leave the, the Xbox on a lot. Which is really bad of me. But I don't quit. I just leave the game running. Which is bad for my system. Bad for the power bill. Uh, but I'm lazy, so that's what happens. So we gotta take care of this woman over here. And we're gonna see how, how viable taking them out via range is. It is not terrible. And you do stun them. So, I like how the, the stamina drain is pretty, pretty damn good. I, I mean, not, not good as in, you know, great for us, but good as in, you know, significant. So you can't just pepper enemies with arrows like you could in Demon Souls. Because that's one of the things I remembered about my first no damage run of Demon Souls is that you could just... You could sit back and bow everything, and if they had a long enough stun animation, you could just keep them per perpetually stunned with the with the lava bow because fire always caused a particular stun animation with some enemies. So it just made the game incredibly easy at some junctions. So this is the way we're going to be killing quite a few of these enemies. I'm sorry if you have any disagreements. If you think this is boring, trust me, I think it's boring as well, and I don't think it makes for good commentary. But, this is just how we're going to have to do it, because I have to get over there, and I have to not die. Because I think that's the boss fog. I'm not entirely sure, though. Wait until this guy loses his poison, like that. And I've got quite a few poison arrows. Uh, but if we run out, I think I've got enough souls on like so on me in physical form that I can just go and buy more if I do need to. So we'll kill this dude. Have an explorer over here, maybe. I don't know. So how's your week been going? everybody. That's been good. I did my work early as opposed to, oh there's a path here and an enemy. Yay. I did my work early so this is the reason why I basically now to play as much of this game as I have this week and I've been planning that since the start of the year basically. My god that here. A good range on this thing. Okay, and she's poisoned. So she's about to die. That might be the way I have to take care of the sorcerers, uh, sorceresses up there. 
Don't you dare knock me off. Oh, there's another one. be a pain in the butt if I die, but... What isn't a pain in the butt if you die? Dying's an inconvenience. Oh, damn it. And she's poisoned. Good thing I have life gems. The frame rate's frame rate in this game continually surprises me. It's pretty damn good. Especially for being on Xbox 360. I would have thought the PS3 version would run better, but... Nope. Oh! Esther's flash out. I thought that was just something that the enemy dropped. Cool. So we'll have 12 flasks now. And... Oh, there's a chest as well. Jeez. Pretty well hidden. Sunlight blade. Holy shit. We might have a reason to become a cleric. Oh, it's the body. You people watching in 360p, which, and trust me, when I say you people, I mean you are my people as well. Because you people watching in 360p, you probably can't see that there's a body under the water there. And there's, um... I've been, I've been sort of fiddling with the render settings that I have for uh, Adobe Premiere and one that I've settled on is not, it hasn't got too high a bitrate so it doesn't take too long to render, like it's down from what I used to render at and it looks practically the same, um, but the difference about it is that uh, in some places it can tend to look a bit grainy. So, uh, like, I rendered the first episode of this already. Uh, yeah, at this point, I have only rent. Keep in mind, this is about 50-odd episodes in. I have only rendered the first episode so far. That's how lazy I've been with the rendering. But I need to get this done, because if I get caught, in, caught up in editing and stuff, this game is going to feel so much longer. I just want to do it. I want to do all of the... Uh, all of the game... And then I want to render some of it, you know? It's, probably, it's not a good attitude, like, to have just in general that, you know, I can't do anything until I've done everything of something else. Because it stops me from pursuing other interests. But damn it, don't close the... I just want the item. Don't think that night, okay. Yeah, I found some good render settings. Um... But for Dark Souls 2, it looked a bit grainy and weird in some situations because it, um... Because this game is really dark, like in some places, and it's really light in others. And there's this... There's this kind of... Contrast, like, really... Kind of... Or <laughs> I'm trying to think while I'm also playing, so... There's this thing with this game. There's a lot of high motion and there's a lot of contrast in the colors as well. So it can kind of confuse the render settings that I had before and I end up looking grainy. So I can't use the absolute fastest render that I had figured out that also had good, uh, good quality in the end. So I have to go to a more lengthy render process, which I don't mind. Because, I mean, generally I leave these things to render while I'm asleep, so... No skin off my back if it takes an extra ten minutes to render an episode. But... This... I don't know, I... I, I want to do more. I want to edit and upload more at the moment. But, um... The, the thing I was looking at is making the videos just generally more high quality because the raw files for this uh, that I look at, the Elgato records, look really damn good. Like, really, really damn good, in my opinion. Because I only record them in 720p, so I understand that's probably why it looks better for me because it's essentially been shrunk down. Whoa. But... 
I don't know, I, I really like how they look. Just really clean and sharp and crisp. And where was that damage coming from? I'm gonna get out my bow. What is shooting at me? Nothing I can't see, I hope. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Go through it. And just wait for her to die, basically. Yep, there we go. This is a much better way of handling this area. It's kind of cheesy, especially using poison arrows, but... You saw how many times I died. I don't want to die 50 times on a live playthrough. Because that gets boring to commentate and it gets boring to watch. Seeing as I don't have epic rage reactions to dying. I kind of like that. So, why not also shoot this dude? Oh, hello. One, two, three. Okay. Okay, okay, there's one more enemy over there. I don't know what she does. I like how the, the items float on the top of the of the water as well. I don't know what you do, but I'm shooting you. You'll see I probably, I, I go to zoom as well, as if you can zoom in this game. Um. Did you just heal yourself? Because if you did, that's kind of gay. Eh, she's dead now. Yeah. Well, life gem. That place looks like breakable vines. Uh, I don't want to have to do this area again. Can anyone say boring as shit? And I've got souls to level up as well. Where? I saw something get healed. Oh, I just have to click the lock on. Lock on knows better than my eyes do. So what got dropped? Radiant life gem. And we'll go we'll go check this out. Make sure I'm looking at the ground. Alluring skulls. Okay. So I want to go check out that vine area, but for now I think it's better if we stay over here and go through this fog wall. If this is a boss, which I don't think it is, seeing as you can get items over there, we'll see. I just kind of hope there's a bonfire or something. Hey, more things I can kill with throwing knives. I should buy fire bombs as well. Really. I know these are these are probably the, the acid ones because we found one of those earlier. I don't want to stay close to them at all. I don't want to break my shit. Life gem. Oh, there's like 50 in here. Each of them takes four. Whoa, there's a big one. Okay, oh, and there's a bonfire. Sweet. Cool, okay. Um, let's just poison the big one.
And again. Okay. Everything takes four to poison. It seems. I didn't see it do any damage to the durability. I guess they don't release spores when they die. They just use it as an attack. There we go. Alright. What do you drop? Corrosive urn. Makes sense. Oh boy, yay. They've already started firing. Means I can start firing. <laughs> she can get she can't shoot me, but I can shoot her. That's justice. Okay, so once she dies, her attack doesn't go away. That singing is annoying as hell. I thought it was nice before, now it's just annoying. So what's along this way? Ooh, a really narrow edge. Oh, what's shooting at me? Shit. Really narrow edge. Where is it? Oh, it's behind there. Sorry if you find this bad to watch. Again, I don't blame you. But, more pleasant viewing experience than me dying 50 times due to stupid magic bullshit. Or long falls. Maybe that's the universe punishing me for doing something like that to the game. Seems you have to walk around the other way. Oh. They can actually attack, I didn't know that. Two can play games with Mist, buddy. Yep, there we go. He probably thinks I look quite tasty. Alright. That one hasn't taken too much interest in me, so I'm just going to ignore it. She's seen me. Okay. And... Now I can... Oh, okay. So it just wasted an arrow instead of making me roll like I told it to. Mad cause bad, salty because faulty, etc. I don't know what I thought that second one was going to hit there. Come on! I like how you can just casually walk around them though. Let's get my souls, because there were a fair few. 40,000, I think I... I think I might go back and spend these. 
annoying as it is, I'll have to go through this area again, but I'll go back, spend them. I might edit it down, actually, so that it's just me getting my souls and then returning to Majula. Reminded itself, edit here. And we're back. I've spent a couple points in Endurance and upgraded my Estus Flask, so we now have 12 plus 5 Estus. That sounds pretty damn tasty to me. So I'm just gonna... Get Toxic there, apparently. They're gonna die pretty soon. Yep. And I'll throw some toxic up there as well. If I can. Might only yeah, it only got that one poisoned. Toxic, whatever. Seven seven seven. Oh, hello. Whoa. You can degrade your rings. Fair bit. Alright, we're gonna rest here. Okay. Okay, for equipment status. All fine. Toxic, please. Kill this dude. And this. Well, no. Okay. The second dragon ring seems to have a lot less durability than my other rings. For reasons I can't quite identify. It is a good ring, though, so I suppose it has to be counteracted somehow. That singing is really annoying. One more. One more and she'll die to all that. Yeah, I put two points in vitality, no, vigor, sorry, and one point in endurance, because I figured we needed some, and I also, up yeah, I upgraded the Estus Flask, I think I already said that. Or I might not have, depending on where I put the edit, because this episode so far has been kind of pointless. I haven't really done much, I just walked in and died and spent 20 minutes talking about nothing. So I'm expecting lots of those crawler dudes, like there. Yeah. Oh, three hits. Jesus. Oh. Sorceress. There's not any more around, are there? Oh, there's one of those guys there. Hello? Geez, that wasn't bad damage from her. Uh, the one time it actually takes notice of me is when I have low health and stamina. That's, yeah. That's just like usual. I'm gonna run in. Whoa, no I'm not. I'm gonna heal. I think the ground ends... No, okay, that's just the effect on the screen. Okay, what is this? Uh, the enemy dropped it, okay. 
then more. Red Iron Twin Blade and Soul of a Proud Knight. Cool. Oh, brilliant. NPC. Maybe? I don't know. Pretty fucking weird name. What are you doing, man? Whoa! That looked cool. Poisoned? Please be poisoned. There we go. Probably would be better if I got closer. It's got a lot of health. Yeah, there we go. Poison should finish him off now. That's good. Oh, that's singing. There's one over here. I noticed because I hit it with a bar with an arrow accidentally. Which is funny because in Souls you never really hit things with arrows accidentally. Alright. Bleedstone. I don't know if I really see the point in Bleedstone, personally. Human effigy. Cool. Because, I mean, it basically does the same thing as poison, except it's a... It's like a percentage of the enemy's health gone. And I don't know how fast it builds. That might be what makes it good. Roaming crystal soul mass. Cool. I mean, that might be what makes it good, but... I don't know. Whoa! Oh god, that's the end of the world. We only had 9,000 souls, I'm just gonna leave it. Okay. I'm gonna run out of arrows. Toxic, please. The only thing I don't like is that this guy takes so long to die. There we go. I don't even know if the arrow killed him or what. Oh, the singing. Nothing. The singing is driving me nuts. Seriously, could you stop? Wouldn't be surprised if people killed them just because they were so fucking annoying. Oh 
Oh yeah. There's a sorcerer right there. Ah, fire arrows work better even underwater. Interesting. I guess they have hyper armor during their during their attacks. During their spell casting animations. Stunning play right here. But I don't really care about my souls somewhere over there. So we're just going to ignore them and continue onwards. That other ringing sound is gone as well, thank god. What the hell is that? I don't know. Hello? Ah. Uh, okay. Singing still going. Singing still fucking going. a boss. Oh, yep, it's a boss. Um. I don't know what. Whoa. Okay. This looks fucking horrifying. How much damage it did with that one hit, though? Jeez, and you can't block it. I don't... Wow. This is really goddamn freaky looking. Oh, and he has so much damage. What are you doing? I rolled out of the way of that goddamn lion game. Okay, so you... Okay. You wait for that attack, I suppose, and if other attacks happen, you just sort of deal with it. I don't know. You want... You want the hand attacks. Yeah, that one, and that one, yeah. Now, do the hand attacks, please. that one. That's fine, but a little less reliable to dodge. One, two, final hit. Okay. And four. Whoa. Healing. This is goddamn nightmare fuel. Do the hand attack, please. No. Or just let me heal, that's fine. Hand attack? I 
always get hit by that. Hand attack, please. Okay. I can probably get a full swing in there, but... First range, come on. Hand attack. Yep. Yep. One, two, three, four. Ah. Oh. Well, that was freaky. Key to the embedded. Oh. Oh, that's, um... <laughs> this has all been in one big session. Uh, that opens up the... Uh, there was this freaky dude in chains hanging on a door in front of a in front of a girl in a prison cell and she kind of looked like the the girls out here so like that have been singing and driving me nuts this entire time okay so this is not the way we came in there's a bonfire ahead oh boy didn't like that that fight. I mean, it was first tried, but yeah, wow. Okay, just opens up. I always expect big doors like that to need a, like a key, a big one. You know, the importance of a door is equal to the size of its key. I've learned from the Firelink Shrine Elevator. Biggest gap is... Oh, there's there's no... I think this is the biggest gap. Yeah, this is the biggest gap. So this is where the door is. What should be behind me? Hm. Cool. was right for once. So, what's in here? Undead crypt. That sounds terrifying. Always items behind here. From soft, you're sneaky, but I know how you're sneaky. Oh, a bonfire. Yes. Sweet. So, I don't know how long this episode's going to end up being. It might be a really short one, uh, thanks to the edit, but I hope you guys are enjoying. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.